It is Adam and I am getting ready. I am almost ready for New York City Comic Con and this will be my costume. Uh, intrepid space fans will recognize this as what's called the ACES helmet. That stands for Advanced Crew Escape Suit. And I have made the suit that goes with it, the orange, what's known as the pumpkin suit that the shuttle astronauts wore for most of the shuttle flights. It was preceded by the LES, but I think from 70 all the way till the end, the shuttle astronauts wore the orange pumpkin suits and yeah, I decided to make one, and this is what I'm gonna wear on the floor of Comic-Con. But all the parts and pieces are done. It's just time for me to do a final fitting to make sure we're ready to pack it up and go to New York. So, I'm about to get sweaty. The first part of this suit is going to be a cooling system. I found this new thing, personal cooling system by Comp Cooler on Amazon for a very reasonable price. This is a low profile backpack with a soft water bag inside full of ice that recirculates that cold water through these uh, tubular channels wrapped around one's chest. Yeah, this is what's gonna keep me cool on the floor. I can't believe that a low cost solution has finally come out on the consumer market because I've built versions of this for previous costumes like my 2001 spacesuit with Chris Hadfield. Um, the shoulders are not a, uh, a an offered feature, but I've added them because I need a little bit of shoulder in this costume. You'll see once it all goes together. First, you've got to take the bag that sits in the backpack and fill it with ice. You see me getting lazy? I was like, that's gonna take too long. I gotta go get a cup and make this happen faster. I don't have all minute. <laughs> All right, once you've got it mostly full of ice, then you fill it with a bunch of water. This operates much like a, uh, a camping uh, water dispenser. Uh, it's got a seal up here, and uh, you can run a zip tie through there to seal it off. Okay, and then I put that in this bad boy. Hook up the water lines that will recirculate around me. Do a test of the battery. Excellent. Okay. All right. This also adds, ends up adding some realistic bulk to the inside of this Spacesuits have many layers to them. There are internal bladders, there are anti-G uh, suits and stuff going on, and all of that creates a kind of a, a bulk inside the suit, and that can be sometimes hard to replicate. Ah, there we go, come on. Ah, it works better if it is nice and tight. Here we go, I'm gonna do the system check. Okay, I should feel some coolness in my chest very soon. Oh. oh, okay, it's mostly here now. Now it's moving over here. Oh, <laughs> I wish you had a thermal imaging camera right now because this feels fantastic. Okay, turn that off. Orange part. All right. I did a, uh, a fitting of this about a week ago with uh, Maggie Heyman, the a sewist who built these orange coverings. Uh, and there was a couple of mods we needed to do, and she did them. The fidelity of these is really pretty impressive. I'm very pleased. All right, here comes the undignified part of putting on a spacesuit. <sighs> Yep. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna hand you my zipper. And now we're very good friends. I have lost, shoot. Uh, open the zipper up again. Okay. Oh yeah, thank you. 
Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Uh, hold on, Norm. White handles. Big gap. Thank you. Norm, I'm reaching this in here. Yep. You have a Ha <laughs> ha! The right tool for the right job. This is an arthroscopic stapler, by the way. Okay, so. I was a little sweaty just getting in that part. I'm gonna cool down. This is, I just wanna wear this on a daily basis. Okay, harness. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty. It is so nice to have such a um, uncumbersome cooling system. I must tell you, it's, I'm really quite impressed with it. I think, uh, I'm, I already noticed as soon as I put water in with those ice cubes, that they were melting very quickly, like they do, because it's a lot of surface area. I think for New York, what I may do is get a block of ice, so I limit the surface area uh, decomposition of the ice and hopefully get more cooling time out of it. Um, ah, yes, I had this name tag made, but I'm not gonna wear it on the floor because it would kind of give me away. So for the floor, I'll be wearing that one, the blank. And now I think, it's just time to put on the gloves and the helmet, right? Okay, let's put on the, uh, the helmet first. Uh, it, this has been so much fun. I've had uh, six or seven collaborators on this job. We've been working on it for three months. The helmet is, the, the ACES helmet is a pretty complex bit of kit. Um, and I'll cover it in more detail once we're in New York, but uh, this has been days and days and days and days and days of refinement and machining and hand building stuff and coming up with like four different paint treatments for different types of blue anodizing. Oh, here we go. That's it. Okay, so that's how the helmet sits. Now let's put on the gloves. I'm gonna have to work out how to be able to send the cooling without taking off my gloves. And I may do that by just putting the cooling thing in my, in the, there we go. Yeah, wait, oh yeah. I just put it right in my thumb. Oh, totally perfect. Oh, that is great. Oh, this is working out even better than I thought. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to brave the wild space of New York City's Comic-Con.